Yeah. What we doing? Let's get it. Let's get it. Get it. I'm with it. I'm feeling it. What's good, y'all? This your boy, Joe Cliff. We on the outside looking in. Let's talk about what we see. What's good, y'all? This your boy, Joe Cliff, and we are on the outside looking in. First, first, first and foremost, I want to give everybody a big thanks. We are on the road to 1K. I literally need 10 subscribers until I reach 1K. And this is kind of big to me because I never imagined me actually sitting here in front of these blogs, in front of this camera and doing what I'm doing, being introverted, being like kind of to self and actually trying to figure it out actually having to entertain y'all, being well-spoken, you know what I'm saying, paying attention to the camera and things of that nature. Like, it's a, it's a lot of work. And I actually never really seen myself doing something like this, but I started and whenever I start something, I always wanna try to finish it. So now that I'm here, I have um, blogs with a thousand views on it, something I never ever seen or anything like that. So first and foremost, a big, big, Big thank you to everybody, everybody, everybody that's out there helping me, that's subscribed, that's doing what they have to do to spread the word, to um, show love to the channel, that's actually, you know, helping me during this process. I got a lot going on in this real world. <clears throat> And, you know, this is kind of helping me, like, you know, take my mind off of things. And it's an outlet for me to be able to actually sit here and speak my mind and just speak on things that I like and I actually love and things that I want to participate in. Like just last year, I lost my aunt. I lost my aunt in the winter, my grandpa Bernard in um, April, and then I lost my grandmother two days after my birthday in July. So like, and I don't grieve properly and I don't know how to grieve properly. So I just try to find outlets and try to find things to actually take my mind off of certain things and doing these vlogs and just being tapped into the battle rap world, being tapped into hip hop, jumping right back into music and things of that nature actually helped me and it put me in this position where I'm at actually um i'm actually doing something good and i feel good about myself my family you know they see me actually working hard and taking it serious so they're backing me so big shout out to my family and everybody you know what i'm saying thank you thank you thank you but let's get to this battle rap bullshit and we are getting straight to it straight to it rbe they're not playing no games Shouts out to ARP, Lawrence, everybody over there at RBE that's doing their thing, that's actually making things shake and rock. RBE just dropped a crazy card today. Well, it's crazy to me. I see a lot of people. I posted the card in a, um, as a post today, and a lot of the comments was, oh, all these RBE cards are starting to look the same, da -da -da, things of that nature. But you got to look at it like this. It's brick by brick. They're building brick by brick. So some of these people, like you have household, um, you have household URL names. Some of these people are actually household RBE names, like a Rosenberg Royal. Like you could actually say, Ill Will is a RBE artist now. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, Floss the Boss, um, Gwitty starting to get more shine on RBE. So they're taking these talent, they're taking their talents and people that actually want to work over there and help build that brand to what it needs to be. And they're putting these people in these positions. So I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see nothing wrong with seeing a Rosenberg Raw on a card three, four times a year. Raw's fire, you know what I'm saying? He always comes, he delivers and things of that nature. So it's kind of weird to me, but I'm here to say big shouts out to RBE. This card is actually looking crazy. I'm guessing the headline, the way it's set up there is no date and there is no like i don't know if it's going to be three rounds it's kind of looking um url bandish to me not to keep like you know what i'm saying trying to you know um compare the two but there's um there's 17 battles on this card and i don't know how you fit 17 battles into a one day thing um arp said on twitter that it is a one day event so I don't know if it's going to be all one rounders. I don't know if some are three rounders or anything like that. But let's go over some of these battles. Headlining, I'm guessing, is Ill Will versus Rosenberg Row. Ill Will versus Rosenberg Row. 
That battle is actually gonna be fire. Will, he's been on the kill speed. He just battled Reed. I got Will winning that 2-1. Reed was fire though. But Ill Will is like, Ill, to me, Ill Will's top tier. He always shows up. One of my favorite battlers. One of my favorite battles ever is him versus Calico in that garage. That shit was crazy. The animosity was there. It was everything that you want in battle rap. So Ill Will versus Rosenberg World, that's going to be fire. They have um, Big K versus Reed Dollars. Reed Dollars, this is his second um, RBE showing, I believe. We know Big K is an RBE resident. So big shout out to Big K. He's continuing to stand by RBE and help them and things of that nature. He just battled Jada Nightwing on, I'm not sure if it was a rap committee or something like that, but he just had a battle with Jada Nightwing. Reed Dollars just battled um, Ill Will. So it's kind of like a swap, you know what I'm saying? They got um, Sway Sever versus Moon. Battle of the OG uncles. Sway versus Moon, that's going to be a crazy battle. If you know Moon, Moon, he's an OG. You know what I'm saying? He got like, he has like that head ice type vibe. I don't know. I think he's from, um, he's from the DMV area, I believe. Don't quote me. But Moon is fire. We already know what Sway's about. Sway's fire. He's an OG legend in the game. Always been putting in. So Sway 7 versus Moon. Battle of the OGs. J Murder versus J Mills. J Murder and Chef Chess just had a fire battle on RBE. So if you didn't see that, make sure you go check it out. J Murder versus Chef Chess. But now he's battling J Mills. J Mills just got beat by Big K on um, RBE. So he's coming back. That's going to be fire. This is the battle right here. This battle on both channels. This is a battle that I would never expect it in my lifetime. We have A Ward versus QB. A Ward versus QB. That's crazy. I'm, I'm kind of wondering. I want to see what approach QB is going to take with A Ward. She can't just like come with the disrespect or things of that nature. Oh, she's going to die in there. A Ward is uh battlers, battlers. So, like, there's no slipping up. There's no, um, fuck yeah, um, fuck yeah, um, um, you know what I'm saying? Fuck your God type stuff or anything like that. Because, bro, like, you could say all that and then A-Word's gonna go in there, scheme you, punch you, and make you look crazy. So that's a battle that I'm actually hoping. I want to see that and I'm waiting for that. Show Off is making his return back since Pulverized. You know what I'm saying? Show Off versus Active. Shout out to Active. Active's another battler that doesn't get his um credit or just do. Or they don't battle. They don't book Active enough. Active is from the West Coast. He's with um he's one of Diz's partners, Geechee's partners. He's he has some good battles on the West on West Coast Elites and things of that nature. So make sure y'all go check out Active, Active versus Show Off, Big Cannon versus Enes. I don't know what to expect from that battle. Big Cannon's nice, he freestyles, he does everything. So shout out to Big Cannon, that's another one of them guys. He's another sleeper. He's one of them guys that's fire that people don't pay enough attention to. Big Cannon versus Enes, that should be a good one. Chef Trez versus Money Bags. I don't know too much about Money Bags, but if you know three of them things, that's one of my dudes. That's one of my favorite guys. The freestyle ability, his punching, everything. I can't wait. Like uh, Chef Trez, he's been popping up on like you know RBE. Um, DG Gotti's, The Riot, and things of that nature. So, you know, I'm, I hope he gets back to that URL stage where he belongs. Like, Chef Trez is, like, he's different when it comes to that, um, when it comes to the freestyling and the rebuttals and things of that nature. Jims versus Cicero. Big shots out to Jims. Jims last time on RBE, I believe, was the goods battle. And we've seen how that went. He um, recently um, tweeted on April Fool's, um, I just patched things up with um, RBE. You're going to be seeing me on that stage. People was thinking it's an um, April Fool's joke, but grown men don't believe in April Fool's jokes. So he actually went back to that tweet today and he posted the flyer. Jims will be making his return to RBE. He battled on URL. I forgot who he battled. He battled on URL recently, but the transition Jim's made from media, I mean, from battle rap to media is, is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. That's one of the people that I actually watch and I actually, you know what I'm saying? I study as far as this media thing and things of that nature. 
And the last battle that I'm gonna cover today, because I'm gonna do two parts for this, you know what I'm saying? 17 battles. I just want to name these first 10 battles because these battles are actually stacked. It's Bonnie Godiva versus Robin Rhymes. I haven't seen Robin Rhymes in a while, I believe. Um, well, my last time seeing or really hearing from Robin Rhymes was the um, coffee situation, I believe, when she was supposed to battle coffee on um, uh, um, URL and things of that nature, and it didn't fall through. So this is a return for Robin Rhymes on RBE or to battle rap in general world, the main stage. And Bonnie, Bonnie's low key. She's been working, bro. She just battled LL Cool G. She's doing her um, OnlyFans thing. She's doing her skits on um, TikTok now. Bonnie's all over. She has this Beagle Live thing. I'm supposed to be tapping in with her. Um, soon she said after this battle so we're gonna tap in with bonnie after this battle i have an interview coming with bonnie godiva that is solidified she said yes we've been talking we've been working on some things so after her battle with um robin rhymes we're gonna see how that works so and we're gonna try to get that battle done i mean we're gonna try to get that interview done i have an interview with um ar14 coming up um she actually said yes too i'm trying to work on this on um, miami interview me and miami's been going Going back and forth um she's um these are all cool people too by the way make sure like all these battle rap people that i try to like get in contact with because i'm trying to build something bigger than just me vlogging i want to do like this behind the scenes battle rap type thing and a lot of these people are people that i actually watch so adar 14 um bonnie godiva miss miami hopefully them video them interviews will be coming soon to this channel but let me know what you guys think. I don't want to take up all your time. I'm going to do a part two to this. I want to know what you guys think about them battles. I'll run through them real quick again. Ill Will versus Rosenberg Raw. Um, Big K versus Reed Dollars. Wave 7 versus Moon. J Murder versus J Mills. A Ward versus QB. Show Off versus Active. Big Cannon versus E Ness. Chef Trez versus Moneybags. Gems versus Cicero. And Bonnie Godiva versus Robin Rhymes. Let me know what battle you think out of just them ones are going to be battle of the night. Do you think they're one or three rounders? How is this card going to be broken down? Because there's not really much information. All they all is saying is it's the straight to it volume two and it's going straight to YouTube. So I think they're going to be filming this weekend and they're going straight to YouTube. Let me know what you guys think again, 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 again. Big, 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 Big shouts out, big thank you, big, like, I love yous guys. I love yous for um actually taking your time and listening to me and sitting there and going through these motions with me up and down. I see the comments. Uh, I start, I'm starting to get some hate in the comments. So that means, I guess that means that like, you know, I'm doing my job, I'm actually working. So I just want to thank everybody. I thank you, I appreciate you. I hope everybody is prosperous. Hope everybody's blessed. I just want to say we are on the road to 1K. And from there, we just continue to take off. We're going to be doing a bunch of things on this channel. So make sure you tap in, you tune in, and you stay with us. This is your boy, Joe Clifford. We on the outside looking in. Holla at me.